This week, Intel gets a 16-core Broadwell chip going, NVIDIA preps a new GTX 950 SE graphics card, TSMC is affected by a recent earthquake, and more. I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News. Looks like the GTX 750 is finally getting replaced, and the GTX 750 Ti retired as NVIDIA prepares to introduce a new SKU based on the $140 GTX 950. The new card, being referred to as the GTX 950 SE or the GTX 950 LE, seemingly will be a neutered GTX 950. The new GPU will be losing one SMM, or Streaming Multiprocessor Maxwell, leaving it with five left out of the total of eight that a fully-fledged GM206 contains. This places the card at 640 CUDA cores, down from 1024. Also, the card would feature 40 ROPs, 32, 40 TMUs, excuse me, 32 ROPs, and 2 gigabytes of 128-bit GDDR5 memory. Its expected power consumption is pretty low at 70 watts, enabling manufacturers to produce models with or without a PCI Express power connector. So maybe we'll see this come out as a nice low-profile card as well, which would be a great option for people with home theater PCs that want to game a little bit. The card may come out in March of this year. Hopefully. I'm a huge fan of CPUs with a ridiculous amount of cores to their name, and the new Intel Xeon D1571 SoC lives up to that. The chip, aimed at high-density data centers and microservers, is amazingly energy efficient, fitting a whopping 16 cores into a single CPU using the Broadwell architecture. The chip also has hyperthreading, resulting in 32 logical CPUs with 24 megabytes of shared L3 cache and a TDP of 45 watts. That's crazy! The CPU only runs at 1.3 GHz, however, but with that many cores, I don't think there will be much of a struggle. The chip is so efficient, it can be cooled by a small heatsink and fan. Sadly, this amazing pile of cores comes at a pretty big price. Vendors will be able to purchase the D1571 in 1,000 unit quantities for 1222 American dollars each. Back on February 6th, Taiwan was hit by a 6.4 magnitude earthquake, damaging TSMC facility Fab 14. Early speculation by the company had estimated semiconductor wafer shipments would be down by less than a percent, but due to the extent of the damage to the facility, it could be worse than originally thought. TSMC assured to its clients that 95% of their machines would be functional again within two to three days following the earthquake. Fab 6 and Fab 14B's machines at this point have been restored. The company remains optimistic, however, and expects to reach the revenue goal of 5.9 to 6 billion American dollars in the first quarter of 2016. TSMC has foundry partners with several major companies, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and AMD to name a few, with AMD having transitioned to Samsung for its next-gen graphics products, and NVIDIA sticking around at TSMC for Pascal. Four teraflops of double-precision floating-point performance. Nice! According to a slide that eked its way out of NVIDIA, the company's upcoming Pascal architecture, under the codename GP100, could push up to that tasty four teraflops of raw number crunching power. That's three times what Kesla Tesla K20 can do at 1.31 teraflops, which is a Kepler GK110 silicon-based card. Also, the Pascal chip's single precision floating point performance could be up to 12 teraflops, which would be four times higher than the GK110, and double the GM200. And with a memory bandwidth of one terabyte per second, which is absolutely insane, it points to the card likely running HBM2 memory. Awesome. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. Also, make sure to check out our website and you'll find lots of great articles on stuff I talked about today and other stuff like AMD and Associated Press collaborate to enable next generation VR journalism. AMD announces Radeon software beta for Vulkan. NVIDIA talks Vulkan, supports it on Kepler and Maxwell GPUs and more. I understand with just a few minutes of news, you won't get all the info you need or you might have a question. Why don't you head on over to our forums and ask us that question? Plenty of people around to help you out. Did you watch this video and think, hey, I wanted game news? If I got the channel for you, check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Clicky clicky. And one last note. This may be the final video being recorded in this space that I've been using since the show started. And the new space is still being renovated, so I can't show it yet. I'm really excited to be able to share it with you. And, I mean, it's a freaking house, so you guys probably don't care. It's just... The background will change, and then news is still going to be the same, so goodbye. <laughs>